morning, Red Hawks. I'm Dine Hoskins. And I'm Mikey Woodring, and welcome back to SCTV This Week. Before we get into this week's announcements, here's a little motivation with Trey. Hey Rocks, I'm Trey Stewart, and this is SCTV's Motivation of the Week. This week, our quote comes from Walt Disney, who says, All our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them. I hope you're inspired. Have an awesome day. This was Trey Stewart with SCTV's Motivation of the Week. Next up is our Stewart's Creek Sports Report. Followed by Red Hawk of the Week with Lexi. Hey Red Hawks, I'm Tanner Reeves and this is the Stewart's Creek Sports Report. With summer just around the corner, here are some of the SCHS sports tryouts and camps going on at the creek. Boys freshman basketball tryouts are set for May 24th from 1 to 2.30 in the SCHS Ox Gym. All those trying out must have an updated physical in the final forms. Trials for girls basketball are set for rising ninth graders on Friday, May 24th from 11 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. in the main gym at SCHS. All candidates must be final form compliant and have an up-to-date physical. Questions? Contact Coach Starkey. The SCHS basketball team is offering a skills camp for students who will be entering the 3rd through 8th grade next year. The camp will run from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. on May 29th through the 30th. This has been Tatum Reeves, and that's a wrap on the Stewart's Creek Sports Report. See you next season. I'm Alexis Pope, and welcome back to SCTV's Red Hawk of the Week. Congratulations, Coach Harris, on being our Red Hawk of the Week. Oh, my gosh, Red Hawk of the Week, 2024, the last week of the school year. That's, oh, my word, that's just so awesome. I'm so blessed. I mean, on Chloe's, like, senior walk day and all that, I, just, I could cry. I'm not going to. I'm going to hold it together, though, because i got about 700 people coming in the cafeteria. First question that we have to ask you is, what is your favorite part about Stewart's Creek? I love the culture of Stewart's Creek High School, whether it's the culture I see as a dad, as a teacher, now an administrator, uh, and, and also for the students. I mean, number one, it's safe, it's a great environment, and you want to pursue different things academically. I mean, it's an awesome opportunity and environment for that. And I know that's part of the way that uh, Dr. Harrell and the, the, the leadership, when they first founded the school, set it up, and we're just able to just take it to the next level. Our next question is, what is one thing you would like everybody to know about you? Okay, so one thing that, you know, everybody should know about me is I can do the jump splits. Okay, I can do that. Uh, probably not going to do it right now because I'm wearing boots, but in tennis shoes, yeah, I, I can do a toe touch at 51 years old. And lastly, how do you feel about Chloe graduating this year? Well, I'm excited for Chloe for her next steps. Uh, Chloe is one of the older graduates, and so, I mean, she's really been living in that place of adulting for quite some time. Uh, she's already got a job uh, lined up for next fall while she's going to be attending MTSU. I'm excited for her to pursue journalism for her major, and of course, piano. I mean, she studied piano for, what, 14 and a half years uh, as her minor. So, I mean, just as a dad, you're excited. I mean, the, the scholarships that she's received, the, the opportunities that she's created for herself, uh, we're super supportive of that and, and just excited for her next steps. Proud of MTSU dad? I am totally completely a proud MTSU dad. Uh, you know, I'm proud wherever my kids are going to go, whether it's one who's in the Army now, one that graduated from Union University. Of course, our son was a, a middle grad, and then Chloe going to middle. Absolutely. I mean, just it's part of the God's plan for them and their next steps. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Students, if you keep meds in the nurse's office, be sure to have your parent or guardian pick them up by the last day of school. Next up is Red Hawk Hot Takes with Lexi, Kendall, and Chloe. I'm Lexi. I'm Trey. And this is the final episode of Red Hawk Hot Takes. And these are all our favorite moments from this year. And we hope you enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. What are, what are we talking about? Who am I here with? Hi there. Uh, this is Chloe Harris's father. <laughs> and... <laughs> and what app has the most screen time on your phone? It, it's got to be between Facebook and Twitter. Um, if sports are going on, like street sports are going on, it's Twitter. It's not even close because I'm trying to update and keep track. Um, that's on my that's on my phone. That's my personal. If I'm on the computer, if I'm on the computer, then it's definitely Twitter. That's easy because. Hello, who am I here with? Piper Shrum. What's your guilty pleasure song? Um, shut up and dance. Mr. Smith. What is your guilty pleasure song? Thousand Miles. With Brandon Rose. And what is your guilty pleasure song? Night Changes by One Direction. Who am I here with? Ava Hanlon. And what grade are you in? Junior. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? I hope so. <laughs> How many countries are in Africa? <gasps> Two. President of the United States before George W. Bush. Oh my gosh, I have no idea. <laughs> Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> the President of the United States before George W. B Bush. <laughs> Ronald Reagan? 24? Uh, there's 
54. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Uh, who wrote the famous play Romeo and Juliet? <laughs> Was it Shakespeare? Yes. yes. <laughs> Is the thinnest layer of earth called? Ozone. That would be the atmosphere and this is the earth. How much is 14 times 5? 70? <laughs> yes, that's right! Who's your celebrity lookalike? That's the boss, me. Brian Bosworth. <laughs> Cooper Jones. <laughs> What's your celebrity look like? I would say Coach Caudell. <laughs> Someone told me I looked like uh, Kimberly Paisley, which nobody knows her, so. Yeah, I don't know who that is. Who am I here with? Cameron Miller. If you could switch lives with anyone in the whole world, who would you choose? Uh, Coach Cardell. <laughs> yes. Hello, who am I here with? Coach Cardell. If you could switch lives with anyone in the whole world, who would it be? Ooh. <laughs> Dr. Harrell. If you're interested in being an epic mentor for the 2024-2025 school year, see Ms. Honeycoat or Ms. White for more information. Now for a beat break. If you haven't already, be sure to turn in your overdue library books and pay those lunch fees. Don't forget seniors, three days after graduation you won't be able to access your student email or Office 365. Check your email from Ms. Alvarado for more information and a guide to help you keep your important documents. May 23rd will be a teacher work day, no school for students. Now for Song of the Week with Lexi, followed by Tidbits with Kylie and Daniel. Hi, I'm Lexi Pope, and this is SCTV's Song of the Week. This week's Song of the Week is Linger by the Cranberries. The song was recorded and released on the album Everyone Else is Doing It, So Why Can't We?, which was released on February 23, 1993. In 2017, an acoustic, stripped-down version of Linger was released as a lead single for the band's seventh studio album, Something Else. The song was written by Dolores O'Riordan and Noel Hogan and produced by Stephen Street. The song peaked at number 8 on the Billboard Hot 100, and on June 16, 2009, the band came out with an official music video, which has over 450 million views. My name is Lexi Pope, and this has been SCTV's Song of the Week. Welcome to today's tidbits. I'm Kylie Bachalo. And I'm Daniel Yang. To start off this week's tidbits, we'd like to wish a happy birthday to Mr. Ag on Saturday. So make sure to wish him a happy birthday. Moving on to National Days, Sunday was World Baking Day. AKA my favorite day ever. Every day is baking day for you. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Tuesday is the end of the world. What? Moving on. Wednesday is National Solitaire Day, and Thursday is World Turtle Day. And for this week's history, May 22, 1939, the Pact of Steel was signed and the Axis was formed. And May 23, 1900, William Corney became the first black American to earn the Medal of Honor. And lastly, on May 25, 1787, Constitutional Convention began. Wow. And now for random facts. Goosebumps are caused by the erector pili muscle. And continental plates drift as fast as fingernails grow. And lastly, baby porcupines are known as porcupets. And that's all for today's tidbits. Thank you for watching. For more SCTV programming, subscribe to us on YouTube and follow us on Twitter. For the last time, this has been Diane Hoskins, and that's all for this edition of SCTV This Week. Thanks for tuning in, Red Hawks. Be sure to tune in next year, Red Hawks, and remember, we, we are, are one team. team.